We're going to cover secondary ignition testing today. We're using an older car, but the all the same principles still apply. I have this secondary ignition lead on a spark plug wire, and we're going to I'm going to switch over to the lab scope so you can see what I'm looking at when I'm looking for misfires and the patterns how they change based on engine load and uh, why I look at it this way versus each individual waveform. So I'm going to go ahead and start the car and switch you over here to the lab scope. Now this is, no, there's no misfire on this car so what we're looking at is that burn line right here and that is normal so we're at about a millisecond and what I like to do to stress the ignition system is to give a quick snap throttle like that and you can see how that changes significantly I'm going to do it one more time and that is normal so now I'm going to show you what a lean misfire looks like. We're actually going to bring this down so you can only see that firing line. So this is basically all I'm looking at is that firing line there. So this is a normal snap throttle. And here I'm going to disconnect a fuel injector. Maybe if I can get it off of there. So that's what the fuel injector disconnected. We uh, are going to do a snap throttle again, and you can see what that waveform does. You see, it, really at idle, it doesn't look a whole lot different than uh, it does with the injector plugged in. But where you really see the difference is on that snap throttle. You can see the back half of that firing line shoots way up. That shows you you're running out of fuel. You can see how it reacts. How it reacts to the change in, in cylinder pressure. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and plug that back in. And we're going to go, we're going to shut the vehicle off. And I'm going to put a spark tester at the end of the spark plug wire so I can show you what, uh, what it looks like when it's firing outside of the cylinder and you do a snap throttle. So I'm just using this uh, adjustable spark tester and I'm going to short it right out first so we have a dead short in the secondary I'm going to clip that right there so you can see that's a dead short right in this right to the secondary and I'm not going to run this terribly long but uh, you guys will be able to see what that looks like when I start the engine I actually have to bring my trigger way down to even see it. So that's what a dead short looks like on that in the secondary. Sometimes you'll see a much higher spike. Let's see if we can see it. Sometimes you'll see a higher spike and then a curve over if there's something for it to burn, like a shorted spark plug. But this is just a dead short through that spark tester. So now we're going to add a little bit of gap to that. I'm going to take this spark tester, pop it off here, and we're going to adjust it to uh, the 10 kV on the spark tester itself. And I'm going to start that up and show you what that looks like.
you guys can see that spark jumping across the spark tester. And what that looks like on the lab scope is actually a little bit higher waveform. And again, the firing line looks pretty decent. So that's one millisecond there. Firing line looks pretty okay. And uh, what I'm going to do is go ahead and snap the throttle. And you see a lot less reaction to that. Uh, the reason you're seeing some is because this is a waste spark system. The uh, coil actually fires two cylinders. So you're still going to see some reaction there, but nowhere near what you're going to see with a lean misfire inside the cylinder. So I just wanted to demonstrate the difference between those and uh, how, why I test it with live viewing. I'm not trying to pick apart a single wave waveform. Here's another snap throttle. I'm not going to try to pick apart a single waveform. I'm going to go back and show you what the good looks like then on a snap throttle again just to get it put into your head a little better because you're not trying to see one firing event you're trying to see a series of firing events and this is where your eyes can actually as slow as they are be useful because you're trying to see the average of the firing events you're not necessarily trying to see each individual one because you have, you know, spark plugs are inconsistent. Your fuel trims might be going back and forth as the uh, O2 sensors switch. So you're going to see some lean conditions, some rich conditions, but what you're looking for is those outliers. And in my experience, the best way to see those is with uh, a snap throttle on a secondary ignition capture. So here's with the spark plug back in, or the wire back on the spark plug. Everything's put back together down here. I've, I moved this clamp up here, I was getting some interference, but that's still cylinder number three. And we'll go back to the waveform and show you what that looks like under a snap throttle again. And that's with no misfire. That, that's a normal reaction due to the change in the cylinder pressure as the engine load changes on a snap throttle. Uh, so, that's the end of this. That's everything I got for you today. Hopefully this helps you. I know secondary ignition is becoming more and more of a thing because you can't really scope primary even though when you're looking at the firing line on a primary ignition capture you're looking at the same thing. You're looking for that to change in those ways under those conditions. That's why I like to do this live and not necessarily try to pick apart one waveform at a time. So I hope that helps. Thanks for watching.